Hi, my name's Mitz, and today I'm going to show you how to add a site map to your WordPress website. So, what we're going to do is we're going to install a plugin for that. So, when you um, signed into your dashboard, it's usually um, your domain name and then WP admin. See up the top there in the bar? Right, now I've signed in and then I pressed on plugins. Now I've already added my plug plugin in here, but if you wanted to add a new one, you'd press on add new. And then just type in the box here, clean archives and press search. Okay, so there it is there. There's the exact one that I'm talking about. So you go over to the side over here and you press on install. And I'll just show you what happens. It takes you to another page. And then you just press on this one up here, latest. It tells me that it's already installed on my computer, which it is. But um, it would say install up here and that's where you'd press. Alright, so I'm just going to close that. So... So we've got the installed now, so we go to the plugins section and we just check it and it's activated already because we don't uh, we don't have to press activate, it's already activated. Okay, so what I do now is I go and make a page, okay, which I obviously I've already done again. And what I did is I went to pages and I pressed on add new and I added a page called sitemap. Now I'm going to go in there and show you what I did. Okay, so you name the page sitemap and then you put this string of text in. Okay. Now this, I got that information from the um, readme file. Um, but you can just type that out yourself if you like. Just pause the video and write it down or whatever. Now that's all you have to do to get the site map to come up. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like. So we're going to go and visit the site. Okay. And see how I've got this here. There's my page. I'm going to press on it. And here we go. It's got all the ar archives in there. Now you can just press on say December and it will show you what's in there. Okay, go down a bit, see that? And then you can click on anything you like. It also has in brackets how many comments it's had for each one. So you can go up there, press on that. Okay, there we go. So that makes it easier for people to see things. Um, instead of drop down menus and archives on the in the sidebar this is really cool because they know that it's a site map and you can see everything that's on the blog all right um, thanks for watching